they have done it again. <laughs> and oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Welcome Baba back Witches My name is Amel and today we got another Sims 4 reaction. I just uh, Like 30 minutes ago or so I went on Twitter because I was bored and didn't know what to do And then I saw that the Sims had dropped another announcement. Well not announcement. Yesterday was the announcement Today an hour ago was the release of the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. They made this an expansion pack, and the magic one was a game pack. <laughs> I am not the only one that is very, very confused and a little bit very very little bit that's not what i meant we're very upset what is this shit? what is this? oh god okay so the first off i have not gathered my thoughts i just i just literally sat down to record this they literally made a survey a week ago or so i don't even remember i i filled it out they made a survey of what we wanted to see and what would uh what we would like to have in the sims and none of it not not i don't remember anything involving eco-friendly stuff so i guess that they already had this they obviously had this pack already made and we're like well we're gonna see if anyone likes it and if not woo. do not further shade we're just gonna I'm just gonna watch this I'm gonna react I'm probably gonna put music over it because I don't want to get sued <laughs> I, I don't have money as is and I surely don't have 40 bucks for this so let's move on so why not all right oh no it's really bad air and trash oh no bugs uh-huh ah yes because everyone wants to okay C candles candle uh, candles though candles and and talking about eco stuff I mean, it does. There's some new hairstyles. Wow. What is that? Ew. Ah, yes. Sucking all the pollution takes two seconds. And then everything is suddenly pretty. We're changing. Play to change. Play to change. W w to change what? All right. So let let's just go over the few things I saw. I'm I'm not gonna play it again because again I don't want to. Hang on. I got put. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got this god awful whatever this is. I mean, it's it's thoughtful, but no. And then we got these uh, these ship containers that you now can live in because that is a dream everybody has. You can sh you can mold them as much as you like. Obviously, everyone wants to live in a tin can. We got this new world that everything is horrible when you come come in first and there's trash everywhere just like you know there's lots of new clutter obviously there's bikes i bet you can't drive those i bet you cannot drive those 
Because eco-friendly does contain that you drive bikes instead of cars, so... I bet you a lot of... I don't know that you cannot drive bikes. And if you can, I'd be really surprised. I'd be really surprised. <sighs> a lot of those things are already in the game though. I know this this head dough and stuff, so what else do we have? Uh, I guess you can m make trash cubes. Uh-huh. Oh, no, stop, stop. I don't want to get sued. Ah, uh, and, and candles though. Candles though. Although they have different shapes and stuff. I, I myself, I come up with a lot of ideas as soon as I th see things. So if we, if for example, you can make candles, different uh, shapes and sizes, then you could possibly make them smell different, have different uh, scents, have different inf uh, inf influences uh, on your mood, for example. But I don't think that that's the case. You can, uh, as you can see, you can uh, shape them. I did this when I was a child. You can like make uh, a lot of layers with colors and then you can uh, take a knife and cut them in and do fancy stuff like that. So that is uh, thoughtful, but it's, I don't think they went as far as my idea. Moving on. <laughs> wow, but candles though. <laughs> So we got this whole thing. I don't think this is all interactable. This is not. This would be a nice thing. I don't know how, you know, you know what I mean. And then we all have this, this, yeah, these houses, all these beautiful houses. Oh, what else? All right, so this guy's probably like talking to, to the people like, hey, we need be friendly. We need to save the planet. We need to save the planet. Then why, why are you? <laughs> Why are we simulating it? I mean, the whole problem I have with this is this is a simulation and it, in the real world, a lot of problems are happening. So I would understand if they did this and proceeds like 10% or 20 of the, uh, the money that goes to EA would go to like eco organizations and stuff. That would be really cool. That will be really thoughtful, but I did not see any sort of that, so I don't have tea, but that's the energy drink on that one. I really don't want to bash EA and seem like a hateful person, even though I am. <laughs> it's just, it's just blowing my mind. Because people spend so much money on these games. I mean, it's one game, but it has so many packs. And you cannot, you cannot expect people to give 40 bucks for something like this. This should be a whole game or nearly a whole game because you can buy entire games for 40 bucks. bucks that will entertain you for hundreds of hours. The Witcher 3, for example. I know The Sims can entertain you for hundreds of hours, but as, I, as in my experience, watching other Simmers, packs like these don't really get, like, you play them once and then it's done. <laughs> you might use some stuff from it, but you're never really gonna play it again because it's really not that overwhelming you know what i mean and it's the same with other packs so yeah there's that so yeah yeah well let's all vote to be more eco friendly yes awesome great is i'm recording please tell me i'm recording all right, so they're making grape juice and talking and whatever that is. Let me put down the volume. Okay, so, so they're they're doing all kinds of stuff. Stuff and suddenly, out of nowhere, everything is green because they started to watch for their things. They started to watch out to be more eco-friendly. And I just saw some bugs. That is disgusting. So that's like a house for some pets. Oh, 
my first pet stuff. So he's... I'm not gonna snuggle with a maggot. That's the size of my hand. No. This is some Resident Evil stuff right there. So she's doing... S ah, she's inventing the pollution sucker. Ah, yes, that'll, that'll take two hours and then the whole thing is done and you suck in all the pollution in five seconds and the whole city is saved. That's all the gameplay there for you. Uh, so there, okay, so everything changes along, everything gets green and beautiful and nice and ha hooray, we saved the world. I, I honest, I don't know what to say anymore. It's just, it's just standard at this point that we're not gonna... I mean, maybe after everyone took that survey, I don't know it's, oh, if it's over already, but maybe now they're, they'll kind of do stuff that we actually want. I have not bought the tiny living pack uh, because I was still debating on whether I should and because I don't have money. <laughs> Frankly, I would have rather, I'm probably going to buy this at some point. I, I know myself. I have, I've bought almost every pack of The Sims 4 except, uh, yeah, except tiny living. And I'm a person that needs to have all the packs because otherwise I feel like the dumb one left out. And that is my problem. I, I, that is my problem. I know. But for a game that is incomplete, kind of, uh, well, not kind of incomplete. It gets, uh, it evolves with, with every pack. It gets bigger and bigger for a pack, uh, for a game such as The Sims, I don't just, I just don't see how one game is worth 500 bucks without any discounts or stuff. I have not, I have not actually counted, but it's around 500 bucks now, or even more, I don't know. I just don't see how it is worth the price. <laughs> even though most of that I did pay and I kind of want to die. So, that was my reaction, uh, tell me how you feel about this down below, again, I'm not trying to bash, I'm just really, <laughs> I'm really, there could be so much great things in The Sims, and other simmers know it, know things better than me, they have better ideas than me, but, I just think, it could be so great if people, if, if it would actually include stuff people wanted, especially for such a community like The Sims. We're all so involved and uh, everyone's so, you know, nice to each other and stuff. I've never even heard about drama in The Sims community. So I just think it it's really important and if anyone at EA sees this please don't sue me I love the games I've played them since I was little I just I'm really I just don't know what to say anymore about these kind of things so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe for more in the future I literally just watched all this happen and sat down I was like I need to record this so thanks again and I'll see you in the next video cheerio